Right, so these are still sort of cooking. Okay, not quite brown enough yet. Now, if you were to chuck a bit of wine in there, okay, what you'd do at this point, well, when you take the chicken out or the rabbit out, okay, we would just remove it. Well, we'd be doing that anyway, but um, we would then chuck the wine in and get it so it gets all them bits. So perhaps the rabbit or the chicken has come off and the juices and we're sort of making a bit of a gravy and reduce it down. Now we're not going to do that, okay? We're going to leave that out. So instead, um, we'll be putting a stock in and doing a similar thing, right? So just to catch up with what you're going to need, um, we're going to have some mushrooms in it, um, some carrot, uh, an onion, um, some rosemary, okay, well, don't look at that packet, come fresh from um, the old gaffer's garden that did, not really in a packet at all, alright, um, some savoury, again, uh, straight from the old gaffer's garden, alright, not in a packet, right. um, we're going to need some stock, some olives at some point, and some tomato paste, Tomatoes fresh from the old Gaffer's garden. A bit of salt. And to help mop things up a bit, we're going to have a garlic, herb, and walnut loaf. Well, we ain't going to have the old bloody loaf, but we're going to have some slices garlic, walnut, and herb loaf. Look at that, look at that. It's got chopped walnuts in it, it's got basil in it, oregano. Um, what else has it got in it? Oh, garlic. It's got some garlic in it. So, I'm just going to finish these off and we'll go to the next stage.